All right, so you have some oil stains on your concrete, but that's okay. It happens to the best of us, right? I mean, look at this place. It looks like in some spots, I killed a raccoon in here. And I bet you already watched Project Farm's video in which through scientific testing as always, he concludes that this OxyClean product is the best thing that you can use to remove oil stains from concrete. Or maybe you're a Donut Media fan in which they conclude that this Rust-Oleum product does better than laundry detergent. And both of those guys or those channels are correct. I've used both of these products and they're good products. But let me tell you a few things that you should probably know before using them. Let's try something real quick. Maybe we'll learn something. So I split the dirtiest quadrant of the garage in two halves to test out the two different cleaners. And while this video isn't really about scientifically testing and finding the absolutely best product, I am trying to prove a point that I'm about to make, so humor me for a bit. On the left hand side, you have OxyClean, which says it's for mold and mildew, and that's not what I have in this garage. But Project Farm concluded that this was the best performing product in removing oil from concrete, so who am I to argue? On the right hand side, you have Rust-Oleum Cleaner and Degreaser, which is described from the manufacturer to be a heavy duty cleaner that removes tough oil, grease, tire marks, dirt, and stains. And that does sound like exactly what I need, and this product was recommended by a lot of product testers here on YouTube. So of course, I did read the directions for both products on the bottles, and turns out they're pretty similar. You can dilute either product if you want, I didn't, and then pour it on the concrete, let it soak for 20 minutes. Brush it in during that time to remove the tougher stains, and after that, just simply wash it away. And that sounds simple enough, and I did exactly that. I took a large floor brush, and I made sure to brush it really well for the, uh, for the full 20 minutes, adding more product along the way, so it wouldn't just dry off, and then I pressure washed it away, and I made multiple passes to ensure the best result possible. After that, we're just gonna flush out all the suds and dirty water out of the area, and you would think that after doing all this work and using some of the most recommended degreasers on YouTube that we'll be left with a pristine concrete floor, right? Well, we'll let this dry off and we'll see. Here's the picture that I took before we cleaned. And here's the after. Did you catch the difference? Okay, one more time. Here it is again, before and after. Okay, so here it is side by side. First question, which product did better? You know, to be honest, I don't really know. I could make an argument for the Rust-Oleum on the left, but that side was a little cleaner before anyway. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Did we get all the stains out? No, absolutely not. The stains are lightened, but they're still clearly there. But don't get me wrong, the concrete is definitely cleaner on both sides of the tape, and now I wouldn't even mind laying on the surface and rolling around, but visually, just purely visually, if I didn't do this myself, I probably wouldn't even think that it was cleaned. And I know what some of you guys are thinking right now. I can hear the angry clicking of the keyboard warriors. You didn't do this right. You should use this other cleaner. You should have a more powerful pressure washer. Your technique was wrong. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so let's see what Project Farm, by the way, I'm a fan of that dude. Let's see what Project Farm had to say about this. Before soaking the concrete blocks in oil, the blocks were light gray. The full size block is on the right and has not been cleaned. Unfortunately, even after applying the degreasers twice and pressure washing the blocks, they are still badly stained from the oil. However, the OxyClean did the best in the lineup. I mean, that was a quick note, but kind of important. This guy tested over a dozen different degreasers and the best one, the OxyClean, still left a bad stain. But just to be sure, let's also see if Donut Media had any better luck with their testing. I mean, it's still wet, but it, it yeah. looks pretty damn clean. Money maker right there, look at that. Damn. Look at that, yeah, that's damn. some clean concrete. All right, so these guys are clearly more in the infotainment business and apparently had lower expectations, but even in their video, you can still clearly see the stains. And my point is this, these concrete cleaners, no matter which product you choose, no matter how much elbow grease you put in, are just never going to get all the stains out. 
And this is because concrete is a porous material. It's not like glass or epoxy. It does soak in whatever is spilled and it's very difficult, if not just flat out impossible to get all of it out so you can't see the stains anymore. Your best option then if you still want pristine concrete again, it's just to grind it down. But if you're going to do that, you might as well just epoxy the floor while you're at it so you don't have to worry about this anymore. So does that mean there's zero reason to use any of these products? Well, no, I'm definitely not saying that either. While these products may not eliminate the stains visually, they can and do help quite a bit. And it does really help with just general cleanliness of the floor so your clothes don't turn black when you're on the floor. So if you do decide to clean your garage floor or your driveway with this stuff, just have some realistic expectations. Again, they do help. And even after this, if you're still interested in using these products to clean concrete, and you should, I made a separate video showing you the easiest way to use them, so be sure to check that out in the description. If you like this content, please give me a like or a subscribe. I am starting a new channel so every little bit helps. If you want to tackle this project yourself and want to support my channel, use the product links listed below. Until next time, take care.